Hello everyone, this is Nasim. Today I'm gonna talk about how I learned to code and got my first job without going any university or bootcamp. Let's get started. It started when I was 14 or 15 in uh, ninth grade. One of my friends was uh, making a website using a HTML in WAPCAP platform. So he was doing all these things on phone. It was so fascinating to me that uh, I decided to do it too, just to uh, get some fun from it. So I took a book from him about HTML, then started tinkering with some HTML tag using my phone in Wapka platform. So that's how it got started. In high school, I was into science fair. So I was making lots of science projects, but uh, there are some limitations if I was not using program because if I wanted some things to do more uh, automated and also uh, I want to add more functionality than programming pops in every project. So I decided to learn C programming so that I can program uh, it on Arduino. I can make a good projects and be fast in science fair. So in 10th grade and 9th grade, I was uh, learning C using a uh, book because I, I didn't have any computer, so I had to practice them on phone. After finishing 10th grade, I got my first computer. Then I was very interested in learning programming more. Also, uh, we had course on C programming and also on HTML in our ICT book. So I was very uh, excited to learn more programming and understand more. In this period, I participated in different programming contests and uh, gathered a tons of experience around it. So I was uh, very interested in that doing more. I al already had basics of uh, programming, so I decided that I would uh, learn programming full time and to gain experience, I will work as a full time programmer after finishing my uh, high school. So that was the decision I took in the end of this senior high school year. So when this uh, senior high school year exam ended, so I took six months. In the six month period, I became uh, proficient in HTML, CSS and JavaScript and basic understanding of Vue.js and uh, uh, Git. So I made many projects and added them in my portfolio. In December, I made my resume. So at that period, actually, uh, most of my friends were admitting to university. So I was little pushed to do something uh, as I didn't actually uh, add apply to different universities. So I searched uh, different companies which had open position for uh, front-end developer in my uh, country. I shortlisted 17 companies. So uh, I applied all of them. And uh, after that, I heard back from three of them. So I did interview to two of them. After doing several rounds of uh, interview and take-home projects, I was offered jobs from two companies, so I decided to take the second one. In January 20th, I joined the company as a front-end developer. Uh, I learned a lot from this company, uh, so everybody was very great and they cared me as a brother. As I was a uh, junior to them, so they teach me lots of things. I, in that period of time, I became a full-stack developer. So after staying there for almost six months, uh, Mm, currently now I am working uh, in a Canadian remote software company as a full stack engineer. So this is how all went. Let me know if you want to hear that story to how I got this remote job. So uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it then give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. Also uh, if you subscribe this channel then I would very much appreciate. So thanks for hearing. I will catch you up in next time. Bye-bye.